My name is Benjamin Lawrence. I'm a professor of African history at the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona. The African Studies Review is the journal of the African Studies Association in the United States. And I think it's very important to keep that first and front. And for me, that what that means is that we have to think as a, the journal as serving the mission of the ASA. And the ASA has a very carefully articulated mission. But what that also means is that we want to be publishing the most exciting, new, and current scholarship about Africa, or people working on or around topics in Africa or in African studies, and also Africa in the rest of the world, so Africa vis-a-vis -vis other parts of the world or in a global context. So I first became involved in the journal uh, in the capacity of reviewer. I reviewed um, a number of times when I was an assistant professor and an associate professor. Uh, reviewing is one of the great ways to both learn what's going on in the journal, how it works, but also to get a better sense of what's going on in the field. Okay, the best way to ensure that your first submission to the ASR is successful and it moves into the pipeline for peer review, which is of course what everybody wants, is to become really familiar with the type of scholarship we're publishing. So the first thing you do before you submit an article is you read several recent issues and look at several articles in different issues to get a sense of the type of things we write about, that is Africanists, the type of things we as the editors are interested in publishing, and the types of things that Cambridge is interested in profiling. And I think that's a very important first step. That's not listed on instructions for authors, which is a separate section on the website for uh, the journal, um, but in some ways it's kind of implied. So the second thing, of course, is to really pay attention to the instructions for authors. There is no price that can be paid for putting your best foot forward initially. We don't want to send it back to you because you didn't follow some of the basic rules expected for peer review. So the ASR for me is in a very exciting moment. We're embarking on a new structure that's carefully articulated to the experience of being a faculty member at a university in North America or a university on the continent or in Europe. We're interested in having the editors participate actively in the review process and help the journal to grow. So we've broadened the scope by creating a new group of editors who have diverse interests and diverse backgrounds so that people will find the journal more accessible to them, uh, more representative of the field, both here in North America and also beyond. We're interested in uh, scholarship of every discipline, uh, multidisciplinary scholarship and transdisciplinary scholarship because we want the articles that we accept to appeal to a very broad readership. We're very interested in receiving paper submissions that are new, original, and exciting, creative scholarship. I'm very excited by first authors, people who are doing new research straight out of their dissertation, because often the dissertation is where all the enthusiasm and dynamism of writing takes place. Now I'm a little biased, because one of my first articles was also in the ASR. But we also want established scholars to publish. We want people who are doing innovative, creative, original, empirical research, and we also publish theoretical and discursive pieces. So we're specifically interested in emerging scholars and giving voice to emerging scholars, both here in North America and on the continent and beyond. We're interested in making the journal accessible uh, in a variety of ways. So we have offered new incentives to Africa-based authors to review. Now, being a good writer is um, a combination of three key elements. You need to read more, you need to write more, and you need to review more. The more you review, the better you'll become familiar with the expectations of, of quality scholarship. We're also creating workshops that are taking place uh, on average so far every six months, one based in a different country in Africa each time and one prior to the ASA annual meeting. And that is an opportunity for emerging scholars to have what we might call a pre-peer review opportunity where they share, pre-circulate their paper and they get feedback from established scholars from diverse backgrounds from beyond their discipline to learn how their work is interpreted and the type, of, the type of context and the culture in which they need to sort of rethink to prepare a paper 
for submission to the journal. We're embarking on a process to make the journal fully bilingual so that our Francophone colleagues in universities throughout uh, Francophone Africa will have an opportunity to access and submit and review for the journal and we'll also be rolling out Portuguese abstracts so that our Lusophone colleagues in countries both in Africa and outside have an opportunity to fully access uh, the scholarship contained in the journal and in its corpus of publications. We want the journal to be the go-to site for scholars based in Africa as well as it already is in North America. So if I were to pick those three words, exciting, multidisciplinary, and transformative, the reason I would use those words is because we're an exciting time for African studies. Africa is a, a dynamic site of research. African studies is an engaged and interdisciplinary community of scholars doing cutting edge research uh, that is often celebrated and uh, by universities and beyond. And it's also transformative. We're in a place where we are shaping the discourse about Africa. We're shaping discourses and conversations about Africa's role in the world, Africa's history, and its contemporary present experience. And so the ASR has a key role in creating, disseminating, promulgating debates about Africa and really stimulating conversations. So for me, it's a, a very exciting, multidisciplinary and transformative place.